Welcome back to Control. Creepy Ati staring our hooray. Boop. So we just got the second uh, key, po the second pass. No, uh, I paused the game last time because Ati uh, talks a lot, and I didn't want to have to try and talk uh, over him. He's super distracting. There was another room back here um, with a tier two lockdown. There it is. Let's get some loot while we're here. Loot, loot, loot. Only one piece of loot? That was a lame reward. This is actually the first time I've seen a paper cutter. Huh. At least the first time I've noticed. Alright, so now we can move forward into Ati's... Uh, you notice that the picture is now gone? Yeah, real cute. Very Outer Wilds. Uh, now we can move forward into the reactor area. So if we go this way, we can open some of those one-way doors, get ourselves some easy-peasy access back in here when we need it later. Very Dark Souls. Exciting stuff. And you can see that there is the, uh, the ventilation system where we murdered all those people. However, we have to go up here okay, to the power plant. So what happens again if that thing blows up? <sighs> Why would you need this explained? Seriously. Too much. What happens if the power plant blows up? Um, it blows up. Keep the lights on. Now, one of the things I do like about this director is that his duties, that as he explains them, are almost exactly the same as Ati's duties. And I think that's a wonderful touch. Uh... I just wish that they wouldn't belabor the obvious quite so much. So this is the, the elevator down. I want you to look at the wall here. I love this wall. Oh, isn't that a wonderful wall? I just think that's a brilliant way to sort of really hammer home that you're in, in, the, in the engineering section. First time I played through, I thought th thought these were exercise bikes. <laughs> They're miniature forklifts, um, in case you can't tell. Here we've got some more lights. I'm not sure if these are lamps or like inverted drop lights. I guess they're just more super bright lamps. Those things always throw me for a loop. I think there's no loot in here. I guess we'll just move forward. Lots of spinning. I hope you don't get seasick. Here we are, the NSC power plant. There's some kind of rule. All power plants have to be columns in the middle of a huge room. Not sure why that is. I don't really feel like that's how actual power plants look. I guess I haven't really studied it as much as I might. I get the feeling that this is more like a, a missile launch chamber. You know those old 50s and 60s buried missile launch um, bases? They really look a lot more like this with the central shaft being the missile, obviously. I think reactors aren't really built like this, but whatever. I don't know anything about it. A oh, shelter. Shelter, shelter, shelter. How are you all doing? I see that you have weathered the storm successfully. You can now leave the room. Anyway, this place is red, which usually means there's a control point to be found. That is technically true, but this is one of the few places in the game where the red does not go away when you get the control point. Kind of an interesting touch. Uh, they've got these, these shaped concrete elements. I am a sucker for shaped concrete. These are the sorts of things that you'd see under a bridge, for example. Um, they're not really necessary here, but they add a ton of personality, and I think they work great. If you're wondering what to do to make your world feel more interesting, shaped concrete. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. All right. We'll go talk to the guy. He's another one of my favorites. All the characters... So, so the writing in this game, I like. All of the character dialogue and stuff, I like. It's just that the plot doesn't hold together for me. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC Security. He's very small. HRAs. 
we're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. So could you go in there and get shot NSC? for us? <laughs> oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. This dialogue is quite nice. It doesn't feel super repetitive, and guy, it has a lot of personality. I like it. Electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. I do want to point out that he seems completely un... Uh, he, he seems completely unconcerned about sending me off to fight a bunch of dudes that have been eating his men alive. I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Hey there, how you doing? Feeling pretty good? Let's get some loot. We need those pumps and converters online. She knows. She knows. So there's a lot of stuff in this room that feels natural. Sure. This is obviously a control room. So there's like computers and backup gadgets of all sorts. Uh, I, I really like how so much of this game, the rooms feel like they should exist and in the places they do exist. They could have made it much more nonsensical given their explanation, you know, oh, the oldest house is unfathomable. But instead they went the other direction and they made it really grounded. The oldest house is, um, makes sense most of the time and that's fine by me. We haven't yet gotten all of the powers that we're going to be getting, but I think it might be useful to upgrade our energy. Boom. And... Oh, that's three. Curse you! That's fine. This is two. Boom. Uh, now, I could go around and start to solve this, this puzzle. But I think that that's best left for another day. This is a large area, and I want to make a backup copy of the saves and a couple of other things like that before I, before I go at it. So I'll see you around. Have a good one.